Hi friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode, we'll be looking at the JavaFX Alert class. The Alert class is a subclass of the Dialog class and it provides support for a number of pre-built dialogues that can easily be shown to users to prompt for their response. I've created a new standard project that we use as our starting point, and in that project I have a class called MainView. And in MainView, I've created a new stack pane, which is the root of our scene graph. And in that stack pane, I've created a single button, and the button will allow us to show an alert. I'll run the program at this point so you can see what it looks like. And here we have our JavaFX UI for this program, which is a stage with a single button with the text Show Alert. Now at this point, since we haven't attached any behavior to that button, it doesn't do anything, but that's where we're going to start. So let's add an event handler for our button. And we'll use the setOnAction method. Add the unimplemented method. And in the handle method is where we're going to create and show our alert dialog. So let's declare and instantiate an alert object. And when creating a new alert object from the alert class, we have two choices of constructor. The first allows us to simply specify the type of alert, and we'll get into those in a moment. And the second allows us to specify the alert type and some string content text, as well as a list of button types. I'm going to use the first constructor, and let's have a look at the alert types. Alert type dot. So we have one, two, three, four, five different options that we can use for the alert type, depending on the type of alert dialog that we wish to create. The none alert type does not set any default properties in the alert. The confirmation alert type is the first one we're going to look at, and it configures the alert to appear in a way that suggests the content of the dialog is seeking confirmation from the user. This will include a confirmation image and an appropriate title and header and both OK and Cancel buttons for the user to click on to dismiss the dialog. So let's choose that one. There are other options that we're going to configure within the alert dialog, but first I'm just going to do a display of the dialog so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And I'm going to do alert.show and wait so that it is a modal dialog in that no further processing will take place until we deal with or dismiss the alert itself. So let's run this one. Click on the show alert. And this is the bare bones of the confirmation alert. We have a title with the word confirmation. We have a header text area that allows us to enter some text. We have a content text area down here that allows us to enter some further information. And we have the two buttons, the OK and the Cancel. We'll notice as well that there is a question mark icon indicating that we are indeed asking a question of the user. The next type that we have is an error dialog. And you'll see the, the only real difference between these in the way that they're configured is the title, the header text, and the type of graphic that is included. We'll just run that. You'll see that we have the standard kind of an X error indicating that something is wrong. And we again would provide some further information to the user. We're not really looking for a choice from the user at this point. We only have a single button. The user is simply notified that there is an error and has to click OK to dismiss the alert dialog. The third type is information. Again, the graphic has changed. And now we simply are saying, OK, here's a message. Click OK to get rid of the dialog. And a warning, same thing. 
the title will be different, the header text will be different, and the graphic will be different. And again, no choice. It's simply click OK to get rid of the alert dialog. Most of the alert types have only a single button, so there's really no choice and nothing that you really need to be aware of in terms of information returned from the alert to your program. But the confirmation alert actually has a choice between two buttons. So next I'm going to show you how to get that result that's returned from the alert dialog when the user clicks on or chooses one of the two buttons, the OK or the Cancel. So I'm going to use an optional because the user can also simply click on the X, so no, neither of the buttons would be chosen in that case. Optional button type. Result equals, and here we're going to just cut and paste the alert.show and wait. We'll import classes. So the result that's returned is going to be a button type. And in your confirmation, you're going to need to decide what to do if the user selects OK or the cancel. So we need to know what the button type is, and that's returned in the result variable. Result dot is present and result dot get equals button type dot OK. And this is where you would put your code to do something on the confirmation OK from the user. And for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to do a sysout to our console. And let's run that after we change it to the confirmation alert type. Show the alert. It is a confirmation alert. We have a choice between the two buttons, the OK and the Cancel. If we click the Cancel, nothing should be displayed in our system console. We'll show the alert again now. If we click on the OK, we'll see that indeed the OK button was clicked. So that's how you get the result based on the button type that was clicked in your alert dialog. And lastly, we're going to look at the other configurable options of the alert dialogs. We can set a title of our own for the alert dialog if we're not satisfied with the title that's provided by default. Alert.setTitle. We can also set the header text. And we can also set the content text. Well, let's run that. Show the alert. Oh, the please confirm is the new title. The header text says, please consider subscribing. And the content text says, please subscribe that you'll be notified when I release new videos. Click OK or cancel. So just to recap the video. First, we create the alert specifying the alert type. We can then configure the alert dialog title, the header text, and the content. And finally, if it's appropriate, we capture the result based on the button that was clicked in the alert dialog and then do any further processing as required by our program. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.